All right, back in the zone. Back today is the... World Spine and National Sports Day, and we've got uh, with us uh, Dr. Zan Jazini, who is a uh, with Virginia Spine Institute. He's a spinal orthopedist. Did I get that right? You did. Okay, good. Gotcha. Check. Got <laughs> we're talking about injuries and just common injuries, and I think uh, for all of us, even though we're probably all amateur athletes, to some just going up the stairs, coming down, carrying backpacks, carrying a kid, all of that can produce injuries. The and Peloton bike. That too. And hopefully the, actually, it doesn't end like it did in Sex in the City, but these are real. Oh, I, don't, I was talking about me on, I don't know nothing. <laughs> Dr. Hassan, could you please tell us what could happen, <laughs> especially to somebody my age with treadmills, Peloton bikes, heavy bags, weights, all of that stuff. Listen, injuries are super common. No, no matter what you're doing, you can injure yourself, right? So the key is prevention. And what I, what I preach to my patients, and I've you know, dealt over the, done over the past three, four years, is do more yoga, work more on my core before I, before I hit the gym and do heavy weights to help prevent some of those injuries that you're, that you're describing. Well, what does that do for my, all right, so work on my core. Yeah, so it's like a tree. If you don't build a good foundation before you try to build out the limbs. Take care of the trunk before the yeah. limbs get. Yeah. That's a good way to remember it. it Take care of the It's Trump something that you learn, you I think, a little too old uh, when you hear about people talking about, I've got bad knees, and then they say, well, you got to fortify the quads. I've got a bad back. you got to fortify the core. I, look, I, we're looking at these pictures of these kids these days. I know that with technology, we're going to the iPads and computers, but yet still, this can't be good for your back, holding all this weight up. I know you have a backpack here. I don't know how yeah. heavy this is, but yeah. so how, how is there a proper use of a backpack? Yeah, so... Just to lift this up, I want you to feel it, right? Mm -hmm. This is about 10 pounds, right? Mm -hmm. A good rule of thumb uh, you're, for your child, you want it to be about 10% of the weight. So if your, your kid weighs about 80 pounds, it should be about eight pounds, right? So one, one thing is the weight, how much load you're putting on, on your back. The other is how you wear it, right? You want to make sure that both straps are on, it's symmetrical, it's not causing muscle imbalance, right? I have a niece and nephew, 10 and six, so. Right. You know, it's October. We're still pretty early into, into the school year. Mm -hmm. So this is the time to really make sure your kids are not putting too much weight into their backpacks. It's, it's amazing how much it can add up. Laptop, textbooks, right? So I grab my kids' bags every morning, like let dad carry this to the truck, to the car, because they have problems getting in the car where they're carrying breakfast or whatever. How unhealthy is this over the long term for my kids? I have a 14-year-old and a 12-year-old. Yeah, we're, we're living longer and longer, right? So. The injury prevention starts at a young age, right? A lot of disc issues, these are all, there's some genetic component of it, to it, mm -hmm. but there's also how, how you use your body, right? So it runs in my family, disc issues, it runs in a lot of families. So it starts early and prevention is the key. Man, this make my knee hurt and now. This is why, I remember when I was a kid with the roller backpack, like put it on wheels, because sometimes it's so many textbooks, it's almost, right. I got a 30 pounder, a one year old who's 30 pounds at home. And I was here with BioFreeze walking like this for a full, <laughs> what works? Like, what over-the-counter remedies help? Because, I, you know, you, they say you got to squat if you pick something up. Don't mm -hmm. lean forward. I get that. But I think for most of us, when we're in a rush, we're getting things done. That's not always the case. If we're home and we don't have you to call right on speed dial, what can we do? Or what works at least to relieve the pain in the yeah, immediate? For the initial inflammation, a biofreeze, a lidocaine patch, something to, to calm the inflammation down. If you don't have any GI issues, uh, Advil is, is totally okay, you know, three, four days. You want to take mm -hmm. it consistently for about three, four days okay. for that anti-inflammatory effect to take in, take in place. But you got to listen to your body. If the pain is not getting better, you want to seek help, right? I'm, right. I'm a spine surgeon at Virginia Spine Institute, now called BSI. And we have a multidisciplinary practice. It's not just surgeons, right? We have physiatry, we have physical therapy. We have a lot of different uh, modalities like acupuncture, regenerative uh, treatments where we can help you, right? So. I would say do those, some of those remedies you just talked about in the, in the initial two, three days. But if it's not getting better, you want to seek some help. Gotcha. Well, well I'm sitting I hope here. people are listening. Well, look, these kids, if you, if you, my kids are in your class, they are going to be unprepared because I'm not letting them break their back. No, yeah, I mean, Simply I think we have to have to a, a, a big you. conversation about yeah. uh, backpacks, especially not because it's, it's your whole school thing. life, right? It's not. It's I'm watching my son. He's, he's 12 and he's walking like this. I'm like, no. Yeah, I mean, with, with teenagers, another big topic is, is stress fractures, harsh fractures. Yeah. Unfortunately, we see more and more of these overuse injuries, and it has to do with the fact that we're making our kids do one sport. We're trying to push them really hard, right? We want our kids to be really, really good. And we're not doing multimodal. When I was a kid, I played basketball and soccer and all, all sorts of sports. Swimming, sports. But kids, trees. you know, their bones haven't developed yet. 
to the point where we can really have them go into the gym and do weightlifting. So we really got to pay attention to that because unfortunately we see a lot more of that, right? Cool. Very interesting thank conversation. Uh, Dr. Zini, thank you so thank much you. for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We're going to have a conversation at my house tonight. Definitely. All right. Thank you so much. Thank